गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माई नेम इज़ हर्षिता आई एम ए लीगल इंटर्न नेक्सेस एंड कंपनी माई टूडेज टॉपिक इज सर्वेंट एंड मास्टर रिलेशनशिप सो टू नो वॉट इज अ सर्वेंट एंड मास्टर रिलेशनशिप वी शुड नो वॉट द मीनिंग ऑफ द टर्म्स इंडिपेंडेंट कॉन्ट्रैक्टर एंड सर्वेंट सॉरी ओके सर्वेंट इज एंगेज अंडर अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट ऑफ सर्विस वे आर एज इंडिपेंडेंट कॉन्ट्रैक्टर अंडर अ कॉन्ट्रैक्ट फॉर सर्विस सो here the main difference was contract of service and contract for service contract of service means employees who engage and perform service with the company on a day to day basis <coughs> means they are working for a company on daily basis contract for service means uh, when one wants to engage the service of a third party as a independent contractor for a specific project or a specific specific short period of project to a independent contractor we can only tell what work has to be done we cannot tell him the manner in which the work has to be done or can direct or control or manage any of his work or the manner in which he needs to work but we can direct our servant employees in the manner the work to be done what work to be done in the for the time in which the work has to be completed and so on here the in independent contractor the person is not liable for his conduct whereas in a uh, servant a master will be liable for the conduct we can take a example of doctor when a doctor performs a surgery he himself will be liable for the act done and uh, the person for whose surgery is being performed will not be held liable as here doctor will be a independent contractor but as we take example of a employee working in a company who brings up a new invention or does anything wrong there the company will be held liable and not the person for example uh, if you take uh, lic from a company uh, sorry lic from an agent the agent performs the act on basis of the company so here if the agent misses any term or condition of the agreement or purposely does not tell you any agreement term here you can make the company liable and not the agent as the as it is considered that the person is working as the company here so i hope it will be clear in my previous videos what is a servant and master relationship and in this i have made it clear the independent contractor and servant distinguish thank you